Here we go. C.J. Davidson three yards deep. Davidson out across the 25 and out to the 30 yard line. Excuse me, that's T.J. Green. Damian Swan. He's making his 29th start, but now Clemson with a flag down. He's got a man free down the sideline, and it is Mike Williams. I think the flag's going to be Damian Swan. And he's under center, but he'll hand it off. And touchdown, D.J. Howard. Of punts. They need to capitalize. Here's Isaiah McKenzie, and he is lightning fast. We expect maybe to see him as a return man today. He's a little guy. They fake it to him here, and Mason got a man on the sideline. And it's complete. They give it off to Gurley. Gurley's got the corner. Gurley's got the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. Of Goodson. Watch the action fool the inside linebacker, and then the beautiful block on the edge, and that's all Gurley needed. Stout, nice throw, and he didn't hold on to that one either. Looks right, comes back to the left on a wide receiver screen, and Bennett lost the ball, scrambling for it. Here comes a blitz. Stout going to go down inside the five. Let him try to run the football. Here's a toss to Gurley with a fullback in front again. And Gurley down the sideline, punishing people as he goes. I'd give and it a to shove him again. at the end. Give it to him again. Marshall was in most of that position. They threw almost every down. He's fresh. He's in better shape this year than he was. Kind of tweaked his quad on that run. He's looked very fresh today. Gurley, and again, it takes three Tigers to knock him out around the 16-yard line. Throw. Georgia goes with a hurry up. Mason trying to sneak it in. And now a touchdown signal. Howard will empty the backfield. Watson going to go deep again. He's got a man. Perfect throw to Mike Williams. Todd just mentioned it, and that one was right on the money. Watson wants to go back to the air. Boy, he's firing it, isn't he? Wow. Touchdown. Sharon Peak. What a throw. 30 yard laser shot. Touchdown, Clemson. Good position. Watch number 51 turn and run, but he has no idea the ball's coming. He never turns to look for the ball. Season. Trying to get a stop on third and five. The heat coming. Stout fires. And it is caught. What a catch by our David Scott. The last time they were under center, they didn't get a good exchange. Davidson airborne and in touchdown, Clemson. On the last series, Georgia getting kind of cute with their offense. I'd give it the number three a few times if I was them. Gurley, five yards deep, and Todd will bring this one out. And there he goes. One block, and it might be over. Todd Gurley, coast to coast. Can he make it? Yes, he can. Touchdown. The great equalizer, Todd Gurley. The second career 100-yard kick return for a score. Wasn't able to return the first two kicks. This time he gets it. Same guys, the fullback, Maxie with a block on the kicker. Jeb Blazevich, a freshman tight end with a big block. And all Todd Gurley needed was a crease. They never did get him down. At the end of 100 yards, he's still standing. Play in every game, missed parts of three and a half games. He said his only goal going into this season was to play every single game. He slimmed down a little bit. He said he's been working on his abs, and I think those extra pounds helped him finish that run. He made it, even though he was chugging at the end zone. I don't know what Homer Simpson would say about that, <laughs> but Hopper was in motion now, sets up. On the slot to the right, Stout going that way, and it's intercepted by Aaron Davis. A red shirt freshman walk-on. 
who Jeremy Pruitt said he's got size, he can run, and he makes the first big play of his career. Well, and Aaron Davis played corner all spring. He started at safety tonight, so he's got very good coverage skills and ball skill. Three receivers to the right for Stout. He's coming right back to the left, though, and that's to Williams down the sideline. One man to beat. And he's got it first and goal. Clemson. Well, that was really poor leverage by the cornerback on Emily. Lake it from 34, and it's way to the left. And there won't be. So the clock runs out to end a good first half. Now it's Gurley up the middle. He's got a first down and he almost broke it. He did get to the second level. Again, Curse had to make the stop, but a pickup of nine. See lock man in the hole. It still takes a man to tackle him. Mason fires on the sideline. Wide open is Bennett. Made one man miss, but then trips. And still he's down to the 31-yard line. First down, Georgia. Play action. And now it's Gurley. First down, quite a bit more. Taking the linebacker, Anthony, with him for a ride of 11. I mean, it's just not rocket science. Good blocking. Watch the receivers. Watch Towns, number nine, come in. Boom, big block right there. Gurley gets in behind it. And it's right down the middle. So the opening drive of the third quarter. Second down at six. Gurley broke a tackle. Another still on his feet. All the way to the 48-yard line. Another 19 yards by the big guy. And sideways, very hard to bring down. Not going to bring him down with an arm tackle. Breaks two on that play and turns it into a big game. The bottom of your screen has been his number one target. They will keep it on the ground. And, and Chubb, the freshman, whoa, lost his hat. And he's all the way inside the 40. They told us he was a tough little son of a gun, yeah. and he showed it there. Kind of an end over end job. He usually gets these to bounce back. backwards, yep. and there it comes, and it's beautiful down at the six yard line. That's why they've got two punters. Hudson Mason will try to throw for this first down, and he got it complete. Jeb stopped. And he's going to run a quarterback draw, and it's going to be Floyd that drags him down. Give it to him again, and he might be off to the races again. Todd Gurley, midfield. They've got the angle on him, but he's got another big one. Number 71, the left tackle, kind of get to the second level and pick off a linebacker. That's excellent blocking. Michael Bennett downfield getting a block. Big third down for both teams here. Michelle trying to get to the edge. He got there, and he's down the sideline. He held on to that one and he went the Hicks the H back moving around. They're going to lead the way. Gurley broke a tackle. Gurley heading to the end zone. Defense against a great back. You have to be gap sound. You have to guard all the gaps. There's about three gaps in here unaccounted for, and Gurley sees it and says, I'm not going to the right. I'm going right this way, back this side, to the end zone. You got to be gap sound, and I think. Stout. Deep and broken up. Aaron Davis hit him in the back, looking for a flag as second year, but he's not going to get one. Freshman in a tailback. They're going to toss it to him. Chubb running over people. Cuts back inside the 30. Chubb down the sideline. First Georgia touchdown for the freshman. 47 yards for his first Bulldog touchdown. We'll see just too many missed tackles. Now it's a great individual effort by Chubb. But this is a tired Clemson defense. The toss to him. And he broke oh, three again, yeah. and Todd Gurley down the sideline and go. I think 
he might be on his way to being an All-American. I'm sure Dad thinks so, too. 51 yards, touchdown, and a new career high. In the first half, he has gotten the ball often in the second half, and boy, has he made the most of his touches. If you didn't see Todd and I right before the start of the third quarter, when we were on camera, I said, how come this guy hadn't carried the ball more? Uh, I don't think the Georgia coaches were listening to us, but they have taken to number three and fed the big dog. A lot of pressure on his shoulders right now trying to make something happen. Just a freshman. And he's in trouble, and down he goes. And it's Leonard Floyd again. With four touchdowns and more yardage than the Clemson team. <laughs> and more points. <laughs> what a night. They give it to him. He broke one tackle. He broke another. And he's got a first down, I think, for Hudson Mason. He said he was always dreaming about going across the bridge, looking into Sanford Stadium and waiting for his name to be called as a starting quarterback on his home field. He's made it a successful one tonight, thanks to Todd Gurley and the Georgia defense in the second half. Mark Rick goes to 3-1 and one against Clemson in his coaching career.